In this video, I'll quickly showcase the appearance of SRS for mobile cell shading on different feature levels and with and without mobile HDR to clear up any confusion about the capabilities of SRS. What you can see right now is SRS using shading model 5, um, which is the shader model that is used on PCs and consoles like PS4 or Xbox One. And as you can see, everything is working as it should. Now if you switch over to the feature level of Android, Android ES 3.1, that is also used on the Quest 2 for example, uh, you can see that everything is still working as intended. You can see that the outlines are still being drawn, every object is being cell shaded, translucent objects work, and if we go in game you'll also see that the dynamic shadow system still works. Now the reason the outlines are still working is because we have mobile HDR enabled. Now this may not be something you can use on every device, so let's quickly disable mobile HDR and see how it looks without mobile HDR. Now with mobile HDR disabled, everything still looks pretty much the same. You'll notice that everything has become a little bit darker. This is because due to mobile HDR being disabled, the exposure settings that were in the post-process actor and regulated the brightness of our scene um, have now been disabled and we'd have to adjust the brightness of our objects for everything to still look just as we wanted with mobile HDR. On the sphere right here, you can see that there are no highlights and no rim lights. This is simply because the color of this material is set to a complete white and if we simply make this a bit darker, you'll see that all the effects appear as intended. Also, if we go in game and walk into the shadow, you'll see that the shadow manager system still works. You'll notice, however, that the outlines aren't working. This is because in this scene, the only outlines that were used were post-process outlines. Due to having mobile HDR disabled, post-process outlines won't work anymore. What you'll have to use instead are the material-based outlines, and you can learn more about the material-based outlines on the, in the tutorial in the description. For the sake of demonstrating the material-based outlines, here we are in a scene with Android ES 3.1 being the feature level and mobile HDR disabled, and we have an outline right here with two, with two character meshes, one being the normal character mesh that is cell shaded and the other one being the outline mesh with the outline material. As you can see, this approach to outlining works despite not using mobile HDR. For the sake of completeness, let's also quickly look at the scene in the iOS preview device. 